One of the earlier videos that I did was a printer emulator for Zebra that we could use to print license plate labels. Unfortunately, that label printer extension is no longer available for Chrome or it's not supported for Chrome. Different people are getting diff different error messages on it. The good news is there's a GitHub project that someone's put together that has a printer emulator that we can use for the same purpose. So what we're gonna to do today is walk through how to install that application. We also need to create a printer, we're gonna do that. And then I'm also gonna show you the steps for hooking it up to Dynamics 365. It's pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do that. All right, so the first step, we're gonna add a printer in Windows. So I've gone to Windows, Printers and Scanners, and I'm gonna add a printer here, manually add it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our port. So the, the IP address I'm gonna use for this is gonna be 127.0.0.2. So what I'm doing here is, is setting up my port for my 127.0.0.2 IP. Just find an IP that um, you're not using to so just do one or two, something like that. And then once that's added, you're gonna add a generic network card. It's, the printer is just gonna be a generic printer. So just do everything as generic as you can. Mostly you're just gonna click next to this wizard uh, to, to make sure you have everything set up. And then I'm gonna name this printer just Dynamics, uh, 365, just so I have the printer name there. Just name it something unique. And then I'm not gonna share this. You'll see that printer load in the background there. And then I'm gonna hit next. And then I'm gonna hit next again there. So now there's my printer. I'm gonna double check a couple of things. So I'm gonna go into the printer, I'm gonna click manage. And then I'm gonna go into uh, the ports here. Just make sure that my port is labeled that 127.0.0.2. And then I'm gonna check my port ID, make sure it's uh, 9100. So that's what I'm gonna do to set that up. All right, so there's a pretty neat GitHub project that we can take a look at. I'll post a link to this below that gives us our printer emulator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the there, I'm gonna download the latest release installer, and that's gonna download and run that. And I'm basically gonna take all of the defaults. So I'm just gonna click through next through all of these and let that printer uh, install there. And we'll click close. We'll drag the uh, link and open this printer up for us so we can there's a setting that we need to take a look at so there's the link i'm going to drag it on my desktop and double click it to open it up once it's open we're going to go over here and, and open up the settings and i just want to confirm the ip address so i did dot two and then my port is is 9100 i can change the label layouts here but i'm just going to leave everything else as a default for this printer and that's all there is to setting up the printer emulator so the next thing we're going to do is go to org admin and install our document routing agent. So we're going to go down and pick my language and uh, download the installer. And then what we're going to do, we're going to run the installer uh, after it's downloaded. And then we're basically just going to accept all the defaults. We're just going to hit next through the installer, accept the license, and, um, and get that installed. Now, once that's finished up, I'm going to go ahead and double click it and open it, and I'm going to drag it over here into our window. There's a couple of little things we want to do on our setup. We want to go ahead and put in our FNO URL there, and then we also want to copy in our Azure Directive Active the tenant. So I'm going to put both of those in there and close that. Then I'm going to sign in, and then we want to set our printer. So we're going to, the printer, we're going to choose the printer we set up, which is the Dynamics 365 printer. We're going to register that, hit OK. Now, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and minimize this routing agent. And then we wanna come here to the network printers and just make sure that this printer is active. All right, for this one, I've created a PO number of 127 and added an one for quantity of one on here. And I've already confirmed this PO. So then let's go ahead and put in our um, three items there, our routing agent, our mobile device, and then our printer emulator. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and receive this PO. We wanna make sure our emulator is started as well. So let's go to the purchase receive and we're going to go in there and enter our 127 PO number. We're going to enter in our item. And then we're going to enter our quantity. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and, go ahead and confirm that. We'll get a work completed. And then if we look at the routing agent, that popped up in there. And then we have our, our label that got printed. So as you can see, it's basically the same setup as creating a real printer for Dynamics and installing a real label printer for Dynamics. You just have this uh, emulator that kind of sits in between that represents the printer. So the functionality that I showed today was how to create the label itself. I skipped through just how to how to uh, configure the label in that piece. So I'll link the video here if you want to take a look at how to create those labels and do that setup piece. Okay, till next time, see you later.